I just transferred to USF from Santa Clara and I was an engineering major there and I was thinking of getting into computer science for my major. The first computer programming course that I was introduced to was a C++ course for mechanical engineers that was really complex and confusing and uh, really tore me away from uh, taking engineering. It was annoying trying to go through like running my code and then seeing like, oh, colon needed here, semicolon needed here. Like, why do I need all of this? <laughs> Honestly, 107 is probably the greatest way you can introduce someone into uh, programming with App Inventor. It's simple, it's like building blocks. You can visually see like the structure of your programs and apps, and it's just a good way of seeing like what you need in order to have a complete product. I thought, well, wow, if programming, like I've had two complete opposites for programming. I've had a class that made no sense at all, and a, a class that's made complete and total sense. like. I guess I should keep going with it. <laughs> I had never taken Java before, but I had taken Python uh, briefly in high school for a physics class. So when we, it went from App Inventor to Python, it was it was pretty cool. Like I was able to pick up on Python pretty quickly and get things going. Transitioning from Python to Java was a little harder. <laughs> uh, I, I was having little syntax issues at the start of the Python, and then when we switched to Java, the syntax issues were just mind blowing for me. Took a little longer to catch it, but it was it was a good transition. Once I saw like all the import lines were, were from App Inventor and they were using the App Inventor components, it was it was pretty cool because we're doing all the stuff that we did in App Inventor, but we're writing it in code. I think having the uh, the background and the structure from App Inventor really helps when typing out code and structuring it with words instead of blocks. Uh, it's just it's good to have that idea of the architecture of the code in the back of your head when you're coding. After taking 107 and 110, I feel like I'm gonna be completing my bachelor's in computer science here.